We're here at the Jeremiah E. Burke in Dorchester. And I don't have my phone, so we're out here with my whole computer. My phone died. <laughs> Apologies, I told you. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. The phone's out. dead, but the computer still works. <laughs> to show out for these children, thanks to you. There's news here, you know, professionals that are out here, representatives from BPS that are out here. 
what do you want number one for people to take away from this i want to know i want them to know that they can re they should do this and that they can replicate these kind of actions in their neighborhood without um without incurring large costs or anything like that that everybody's able to do this um it's uh, actually the young man's godmother speaking right now
going to be a part of this. Uh, this is not about GPS being a set up the activity, but it's about all the folks who can't here today. So BPS is always taking uh, students' welfare and safety very seriously. Uh, this year, we're making sure to concentrate a lot on social emotional wellness and social emotional learning. And so part of that is about what are the tools that you have to diffuse them. Secondly, it's about unfortunately when incidents like this happen, how can the community deal together? So that's got to be a part of well-rounded education uh, as well. Uh, and than that people need to be we're not throughout the year. Absolutely. So are there what tools can people tap into that are currently watching this now? What tools can people tap into as far as the social emotional healing and the trauma and so a few things that I would encourage. Uh, my brother's keeper uh, in an organization called Breakfast for Brothers. They're meeting pretty regularly. We just met this Saturday, and actually Breakfast for Brothers had a lot to do with mobilizing gentlemen to be out here today. It's a space where we talk about a number of things relative to the lives, particularly uh, of young men. But we're trying to make sure that throughout our schools, there are safe spaces for students to really talk about the things that are not just going on in the classrooms, but that are going on in their lives. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Jeremiah Burke High School. And there's not enough media to come in here and report on the great things that's happened. That's right. Um, that's right. Really cool. that we have Burke being the first um, high school in the state to exit turnaround. Um, so again, I just want to thank everyone for coming out. Um, I have a notepad going around. Please leave your name and email. We have a mentoring program, and my goal here is to match everybody in here with a mentor. Whether it's um, whether students are doing well or not doing well, we want to. We started with the freshman class um, through the My Brothers Keeper Initiative, and we're going to keep it going. We're not just going to focus on students that are uh, chronic absentee. We want every student in here to be connected with a mentor. So please leave your name and email and get involved. This is not just a one-day thing for, for us. So I 
think it's to know, important to know that as a school community, we walk by faith and not by sight. Okay. Okay. give a huge shout out to the intern Jules hello Jules all in his nose I want to thank you I love you I appreciate you we love what's going on in the community no monies were raised there was no funding for this it was a Facebook post thank you Carlos Enriquez who decided to have us come out here do a stand vigil my phone died so a lot of people look crazy at the at the computer because it's huge <laughs> but um my condolences to everybody who is affected in one way or another loss trauma violence we need to do something i don't know what that something is but we're working together and standing together and hopefully we'll win this thing. 